Studying a degree in History of Art might be compared to opening a door or window onto the world. With a degree in History of Art, you manage to actually taste a lot of other aspects of the humanities. And so you're tasting, if you like, a lot of many different subject matters, but through the lens of the art object. We live in a really visual world. Students actually don't have to have any expertise, any knowledge, um, about art or architecture coming in. We cover that in the first year. We give you a grounding, really, in a kind of a wide survey of art and ideas. Uh, what we want is that really keen eye, a curiosity about learning more about art and really understanding why art matters today. When I was in sixth form, I was quite interested in different cultures and I was quite interested in art. I kind of wanted to find a degree that combines the study of both and can expose me to a wider range of worldviews and um, ways of living. So I found art history to be quite interdisciplinary. It combines the study of art, of history, of philosophy, anthropology, um, and all of these areas are what I'm interested in. And I think art history really gives me a wide exposure to the world and its past, which can better inform me of what I want to do in the future. We teach a range of courses from medieval art and architecture to studying the very latest in contemporary art. Our teaching takes the form of lectures, seminars and supervisions. So these are almost bespoke, sometimes individual, one-on-one -on -one classes where you will really build your academic skills and confidence. I teach a special subject course called Global Cinema together with a colleague, Shin Peng. And what we focus on is really filmmaking movements around the world over the last centuries. So some of the things that we think about in this course are the ways that film communicates through form, why storytelling and history in narrative cinema are so important, how gender, race, and sexuality are represented, and how different cultural movements have thought about the meaning of the political in cinema. A real strength of studying history of art at Cambridge is the range and variety of collections that we can use in our teaching. We also have the objects in college collections, such as the manuscripts in the Parker Library, for students to go and visit. And we try and incorporate field trips and visits into our teaching whenever possible. A degree in art history is about much more than lectures and exams. There are a number of events always happening in tandem with groups such as Center for Visual Culture and Decolonize Art History, among others. We share a space with architecture students, which include a number of classrooms, but also an excellent library and some social spaces. I hope to work across cultures and across institutions, perhaps. And I think um, the degree in Cambridge prepares me for that because I get opportunities to um, look outside the courses and interact with a variety of different people doing different courses, also across years. So I talk to people who are doing PhD here in the department and also um, the architects who are sharing the same building as us. Once you have a history of art degree, you can actually go into many different fields. Often our students would go into museums, galleries or the heritage industries, but that can be in many different ways. It's not just in curating. Students also go into journalism, social media, television, and others actually use it as an excellent general sort of humanities degree with which they might go into business, they might go into law, they might go into uh, other fields altogether. But as a three-year degree, it shows that you have a good set of skills, critical skills, so you can write essays, analytical skills, because you've been studying art and culture and ideas, and you're able to synthesize them really well. And also you're able to present, because a lot of our work is involved in being in front of an artwork, in front of a building, talking about them, translating ideas for different audiences. And that's really important in the job market, as well as a, a great skill for life in general.